seeing you here. What are you doing? I'm just gonna go for a little ride. Oh yeah? Follow me. Oh, go on then. Yes, lad. <laughs> People, seeing Zim in lockdown, my lovely sponsor G Force Tree Company has let me come to his log yard and we're uh, gonna film a video on how to get over a log. <laughs> oh, some sort of concoction here is getting onto the Land Rover and then jumping off the Land Rover don't quite know how that's gonna work it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up but we'll see let's help, help the boys with that log <laughs> so I just demonstrated there is um, a log hop as I would call it nice and easy front wheel onto the top then once the front wheel hits the top the bike compresses clutch out over like that and I'll explain it in simpler terms yeah. right so what I'm doing right here setting up a small log seat to you like how to go over I'm gonna go through a few simple techniques on what I use and what works best for me because we're in lockdown and there's not much else we can do this is the only land I can get on to show you the video sponsors luckily enough give us this opportunity to give you all an opportunity on how to learn how to get over a log so start off with what bike one Husqvarna FE350 um, 2020 love the bike switched over from a two stroke this year to sort of change it up um, we'll call this log um, Phil Phil the log so I'm going to demonstrate one technique now on Phil um, that's easy enough and this is one everyone can do so you, get, so you get into position make sure you're perfectly aligned you're off balance and 9 times out of 10 you're not going to do the log so get on firmly on your feet just past the balls Nice and simple, get your front wheel on and roll over. I had that boots on and then put a lid up, it just fucking. This is what you would do if you was a beginner. Right. If the log's too big, that don't matter. You get other logs to make your log smaller. Easy, maybe one more. This looks oh, like no. a good piece, done it, Dan. Hey? That's a beauty, that's made for the job. How would I wish that was on his log fire, but it's not. It's going on my log jump. Look at that! Shout out Lego. So that's the simple version of getting over a log. Um, a beginner's version as I would call it. You're just getting your front wheel over it and continuing on with momentum. The next one is, say, you could be on a technical climb and there's a log coming up and you don't really have momentum. So you're going to come up, crawl very slow up to the log, front wheel on, and once your front wheel's on, you do another compress. So compress the bike down again and then pop the back wheel up over the log. First part of your technique is compressing. Yeah, so you can come up to the log, compress down, compress the front end. And as you've compressed the front end, that is when you're going to use your legs and your clutch to preload out and aim to get the front wheel onto the log. Like that. So once the front wheel is on the log, you're carrying enough momentum 
to then roll over the log. Got bloody stuck, Anna. Well, simplest thing is when you get stuck, you get into a good position, not where I am now. Try and come back a bit, get your front wheel on top of the log if the log lets you. So, uh, about there. Uh, And with hope on that one, obviously you've been stuck, you can either come off the log, see how that goes, or you can get your front wheel on top, push down the rear end, back over. Lovely Saturday morning. I am now sweating, very warm. Boys are making me do daft stuff as per usual. Gotta make some good content on it, eh? When I'm in AE getting corona or something because these bastards beep oh. Better, 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 better. Did it slip off the last one? Yeah. You that end might kick further towards that one. Put that in it. Are you wedging that up? Daft things, like I said at the start of the video. Daft things. Just me. Do you see anyone else on a bike? I can't see anyone else on a bike. Full commitment and it happens. Lads have made this concoction. Not very safe, as you can see. But it's ascending. It gets you doing, innit? Look at that. Watch this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Show us a bit of parkour. Oh, parkour. Parkour. Sick that. What's Sick. that? Jump onto the landing <laughs> in that. the roof rack and then jump out of it. <laughs> I think that'd be sick. Go on then. You have to detach your trailer, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Go on, help me. <laughs> People riding my bike is not on. So, so the boy has gone and set me something else to do now. Uh, I'd say they're pushing my limits a little bit if you don't mind saying so. Starving as well, not even fed me. Not happy with it. So some sort of concoction here is getting onto the Land Rover and then jumping off the Land Rover. Don't quite know how that's gonna work, but we'll see. Let's help, help the boys with that log.
was so scary. Do you want to do it again? So I need to dip down there. Mm. What are you saying? Saying I'm going to give it one more go and then I'm going getting dinner and going home, crying in bed. What are you saying about that? I'm saying I don't think my boxes can hold any more poo. Have you got one of them, Steve? Yeah. Sub for a minute. Is that major? Yeah. Alright, so we nearly died. I'm blaming it on Dan not feeding me. So my bike's um, gonna have to be put in a Bedsy's bikes now to be repaired. Um, and I'm gonna go and get some dinner and cry about my bike. So yeah. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe. <laughs> that is what I like to see at the end of a day of a ride. Woo!